I started photographing in high school with a, a camera from my teacher, which was a Fuji camera. So when I graduated and had enough money, that's the camera I bought. And so I've been, it's been over 45 years I've been photographing, so and I really, really enjoy it. It's come a long ways. I think they just had cameras available for a student to use, and so she let me use it. And no, she had never seen any of my, I was just part of the yearbook staff, she said, you know, but I was hooked after that, yeah. Um, nature's my favorite, and I, then I like to take anything I can take and make interesting. Something with a little bit of a different twist, lots of color. I just wanted to make it different than what everybody else is doing. The, the one with um, the bird and the cat, I, everybody wants to know what happened to the bird. And the bird got away. She lived to tell the tale. He walked around her, didn't know what else to do with her, and walked away. So he wasn't a very intelligent cat. <laughs> or very well fed, as my husband said. But it's just what photography means to me. It's that moment. It's that moment where you can catch that one special thing that makes it unique. This one is is um, a bunch of yarn. It's just skeins of yarn that I take into Photoshop and then I take and zoom it so it makes the picture come out like this and then you take and twirl it and then you change the opacity of that twirl to make the and it makes the spirograph lines to it. So it really creates something unique and you never know what's going to work and what's not. You just have to try each picture and see what happens. I'm fully digital and I'm totally and mirrorless which is mean I don't have the little mirror that flops up and down like the original 35 millimeters do. So that allows it to be able to take a picture quicker and you're more stable so you get crisper pictures. And I really like that. So I went from Fuji to Nikon and now I'm Sony. The one with the star trails, we were out on a night and so that's like two hours of star trails. So every 30 seconds you take a picture, you stack them and you take and make them transparent to see the one below it. But while we were out there the space station came through. So that's the one on the bottom, but then also SpaceX had launched their first set of satellites, first or second, I'm not sure, and all of a sudden this comet comes over the top of this. It's like, a comet, you know, what's going on? It's all these little white dots. Well, we got online and found out it was the space, a SpaceX launch. So, this is, so then the, my pictures got this beautiful, wonderful stuff that's going on in the sky every night that we don't know what's going on. So it was a beautiful moment. It was another thank you, Lord, moment. You got that unique cat. Sure. I think it's outside of uh, Peterson, out on a farm my son had permission for us to be on. The other one that I really like is, this looks like it's all just blurred, but it's intentional. It's called ICM, Intentional Camera Movement, and what you do is you open up your shutter and you move your camera to create motion, so then it gives you a whole unique view of what you're seeing, and this is a sunset off the Gulf of Mexico, and I just love the color combinations that came out with it. The boat is one of my favorites from Key West. It's a, a pirate ship that you can go out and rent and have drinks on, but we were on another boat and it was just a perfect night with different colors in the sky and those red sails just lit up. So once again, that special moment. We summer here during the with summer months and then we live in Florida the, um, seven months. But we've been originally from Spencer. We've lived in this area the last 27 years. Well, everybody wants to know what camera you have, need. You can start with a cell phone. I mean, the, the sailboat one is a cell phone picture. And the other thing is, is just keep taking pictures you like. If you see something you like, crop it, change it, do whatever you want with it, and then take another one. And the thing is, is if you see something you like, take a picture of it. You never know when that might be a picture you need for something else.